Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a new day in the life. It is April 6, 2023. It's a beautiful Saturday and we have lots to get done around the house and I thought I'd take you along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do videos here on YouTube that are around homemaking, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and some projects that I love to do for fun. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. guys okay i am getting a video up i am on such a good timeline today so last night <clears throat> we went to the napa valley film festival which was really fantastic and we had a babysitter not our usual babysitter look how messy everything is so today we have a lot of cleaning to do um i wish i had booked home aglow to be honest with you and i didn't and now it's too late. So we are gonna tackle this together. There is stuff everywhere. They ordered Chinese food, which looks delicious. They ate well, which is nice. But we're gonna deep clean. My kids requested some um, breakfast. So we're gonna get that going. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower. <clears throat> I've been using this new app oops, on my phone called Structured. And um, so it's 9.06, so it told me, I don't know if you guys can see that, that I need to start breakfast because um, I already did YouTube this morning. It was right on time. You can actually tell like how long you need to do. And then you can say focus now, which means you don't use your phone while you're doing those things. So. Um, after that, I'm going to get in the shower. We've got film festival tonight. I also have to be at the winery. Winery at one. And I will be there for an hour and a half. The kids are going to come play with the chicken. So hour and a half, create task. So now I have breakfast, shower, winery, film festival. I'm not making dinner because we won't be here again. And then bedtime, 10 o'clock. So we're on a good, we're on a good path right now. So we have all that. Um, probably should go out to the garden and water it after we clean up. And then um, what's going on in the pool? Oh, the filter's on. I wonder if any of those are, see, look at, these are the cats that come and eat all the food. I don't know how to get them to stop coming here. I mean, obviously don't put the food in the yard, but like it needs to go. Look, it just peed all over that. Damn it. All right, I'll be back. Listen, I like you too, but like you're making my cats crazy. Look at that mess. Look at that heap of mess there. Okay, I don't know what to do with this kitty, but you have to go. I see you. That's right, go on, go on, get. Oh my gosh, you guys, my neighbors have the most beautiful flowers in their yard. They smell so good. Look how pretty this is. I never even realized we had that. Can you see like the little water dropping? How peaceful. Oh, that's really pretty. It's freezing. I wonder where that came from. Um, anyway, next week's going to be in the high 70s, 80s. So, um, we're going to heat the pool for the kids. Actually, is it still heated? I hope not. Yeah, it is. Whoops. Okay. And then <clears throat> we have a big plan to take this bocce cord out because we don't use it and put in some new grass, which is going to be so fun for the summertime um, and host some dinners. Plus this, we just, it's beautiful. I feel really bad taking it out. I'm sure the previous owners spent a lot of money on it, but Let's go check on the girls, the gales. That pool is warm. Last week I was getting in the pool in the morning. Our flowers are happy. Very happy outside. Oh, good morning, ladies. Oh, good morning. Oh, you're out from brooding, Blanca. Good for you. Good for you. 
Everybody's hiding. Why are we hiding? You okay? Um, what else do I have out here? It was sunny, so we put my seed starts out. My dill's happy. All, everything's very really happy right now. I forgot to pick up my trash. Okay, guys, let's go make breakfast. And then I need to get in the shower. on the weekends is pretty similar to my routine during the weekdays except I just don't get up as early I'd like to sleep in a little bit um, and it's the last weekend of spring break so the kids have been staying up a little later and they all slept in today it's a little late for me to start breakfast typically I do it sooner but I was upstairs working on a yesterday's video so I wanted to definitely get them fed quickly and then I always have my AG1 in the morning after I have coffee and I like to add my electrolytes to this I love these they're always link down in my description box it is a um, sour watermelon candy electrolyte it is so good I literally don't have water without it and um, and then I just do a scoop of AG which I just got my new order so I am gonna do that and my vitamin um, this is the little vitamin D shots so I'm gonna do that and then go get in the shower and we'll get the kids fed and then we are going to start the day of tasks we have a we have i need to clean the living rooms i need to clean the kitchen i also um, i'm going to use my robo rock to clean the floors because i don't want to do all that and then i need to clean my bathroom and my bedroom once that's done we're going to get ready um, for the rest of the day and i'll take you along for that as well a significant life. Just what it was needed Clean in the blackest night Closed up in injustice dead And in the eyes of time Nobody is losing The sparrows will be here by dawn When we before I head to the shower, I have to tell you this sweatsuit that I'm wearing right now is so comfortable. I will link it down below, but I saw it on Instagram and I ordered one for myself and loved it. And then I ordered one for everyone in my family. Um, it's the brand is called Comfort, but it's a weighted um, sweatpants and sweater that is really good for stress. Um, it's so good. If you guys want to check it out, you can go, I think it's Comfort, C-O-N-F. RT, but very good. I have tons of laundry I did not get to this week, so we are going to start rotating that. I will not be able to actually fold that today, but we'll do that together on Sunday, which is today, um, in a quick little Sunday reset. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, the next video coming up, we are going to go grocery shopping. We are going to restock the refrigerator and the kids are going back to school. So I have a couple things I really need to get done um, to get them ready to go. It's a beautiful day today. Um, the day before Saturday, when I filmed this, it was also another beautiful day, but very cold. It has been in the fifties here and it's chilly. Oftentimes when I do dishes and I have clothes on I like to put an apron on but the one I grabbed is actually my kids <laughs> if you can tell it's way too small but whatever I just put it on I just didn't want to get wet while I did the dishes so we're going to load these up and then I want to start deep cleaning everything on the countertops um, and then I'll use the robo rock to kind of clean up everything that falls on the ground tell me how your Saturday was what did you guys do what do you have planned today on this beautiful Sunday are you excited for the solar eclipse? We are very excited, although we will not be able to see it here. I'm looking forward to watching videos on YouTube. Um, so tell us in the comments down below, are you gonna be able to see the eclipse from where you live?
While I was cleaning the kitchen, I was listening to a really interesting podcast about um, this concept of um, like extreme radical hospitality. And many of you know, I work in the wine industry. I'm a GM of a winery. And so my focus oftentimes is um, guiding my staff and my teammates at work to provide the highest hospitality. If you've ever been to a winery, I'd love to know what that experience was like for you. But regardless of that, I would love to know in the comments down below, what is one memory of when somebody gave you the best hospitality that you never forgot. Like I, I always find, um, we've been to a couple places. We actually visit, um, a couple places multiple times in our lifetime where when we go to the hotel, um, people know our names. And I remember when I went to Miraval in Arizona, um, at the end of 2023, I did like, um, a grief, uh, counseling there when my mom passed away. And <clears throat> when I was there, I would walk around and people would say, Oh, good morning, Lauren. Um, how are, how are you enjoying your stay? And I always felt so crazy because I didn't meet these people. I didn't know these people. Um, I remember the first day I arrived there, they had a whole agenda for like therapy sessions and massage and all this stuff. And I was so overwhelmed and I went into the office and I, I asked this lady that was sitting at a desk. Um, her name was Lynn. And um, I said, I'm so overwhelmed. And I started crying and she said, okay, we're going to completely change your entire itinerary. I was doing a lot of group classes. And what I found in that group class setting was I felt really, um, I was holding back my grief and I felt like it was, I was really vulnerable and I didn't know how to share it. So I ended up changing all my classes to private sessions. So like private soul's journey and all these different things. And um, all my therapy sessions were private and I never forgot how hospitable she was and kind to me because technically there you once you set your itinerary you know I had to pay to change everything she didn't charge me for anything and walked me through the process and so I think of things like extreme hospitality when people come to the winery like if you're there because you are just got married or just got divorced or whatever's going on in your life I want my team to you know have cards that say you know congratulations and um, I, I want to know more like if you're attending like sometimes we have folks attend that don't drink alcohol like I want to know what's your favorite drink and and to have that ready for them and and just level up hospitality I know I'm going on about this but I would love to know in the comments down below an experience in your life when somebody really made you like pause and say, wow, that made me feel so welcome. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, I think you've seen that I'm finally hitting my kind of stride in this house and um, making it feel more like home and feeling more comfortable. I'm feeling so much more comfortable here than I have over the last two years. Um, I don't know why the change was so drastic. I think there's just a lot going on in my life when we moved here. So maybe I associate the house with some of those positive and negative changes that happen, but now I'm feeling so at home here. And if you're wondering why I kissed that, it's my mom's ashes <laughs> in that urn. Um, I move her around the house randomly, but this, um, since it's been winter, we spend a lot of time in this living room by the fire, but now that it's warmer outside, we don't spend a whole lot of time inside. So I put her back in the kitchen because she loved to cook and you guys know I love to cook, but I wanted to kind of just change this room up a little bit. I needed to take all the Easter decorations down. I haven't, I hadn't done that until today, but I thought I'd also change up the mantle and just make it a really warm and inviting space. We have some friends coming over throughout the course of April, and I just wanted the space to feel more at home and cozy and kind of take that Easter stuff down. So I'm going to do that. The other thing I forgot is all the decor that I had on this mantle. I didn't realize, but there's 
so much dust, dust <laughs> and bugs accumulating up there. So we're gonna get that cleaned up right away. For the mantle, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral, but I thought I would move those lions that we got at the um, antique store. I did a video of our antique shop with me um, a while back. If you want to look on my channel, I think it was like a week or two ago, but these we picked up at the antique store in Sonoma, and I just thought they were really beautiful. That bust is from um, home goods and then just little things that were my mom's. I kind of keep up here too, but I wanted to keep it pretty neutral. Eventually we'll change it up. I wanted to add some pots and then I have some really cute picks I got at that giant sale at Michael's that I wanted to just put in here with just like a little touch of purple. I noticed I have a lot of blue going on in the house. So I decided I'd add a little purple here. Last night when we had um, dinner after the film festival, they had this really incredible um, pairing with this wonderful movie. And I uh, we met this great couple who lives in Livermore, which is not that far from here. And they were sharing with us that they love, like their favorite thing to do when they're relaxed and having a glass of wine is to have popcorn. But they told me they get this popcorn from a place called Amish Country Popcorn. And they get the Hollis popcorn. It's a medium white one. So so we ordered it and you can also get these seasonings. They have um, a truffle one. So we got that, but tell us in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried it. I'm really excited. One of the things I love about my job is I get to meet people from all over the world and it's so fun to hear the things that they love and um, they're so random, like everything from what they drink to eat to places they go and experiences that they have um, from all around the world. And um, I usually don't share them on here, but I'm going to start sharing those things. So um, let us know if you've tried that popcorn. I'll let you know how it comes out. So now that I'm done in the kitchen, I really need to clean my bathroom. These little flowers, one of my kids put into the shower and it didn't make a huge mess, but I needed to clean it up so it didn't clog um, the shower. And I just realized that the kids have been using these really awesome, they're like little steamers that you put in the shower, but they used a red one the other day and you can tell it like stained the floor. I don't have time to do that today, but we'll deep clean this another day together. You're sleeping with someone Now that I have the bathroom all tidied up, I'm gonna come in here and clean my bedroom. And I have to, I had to kick the kids out of here because all three of them were laying in here um, watching a movie. So I told them to go outside and play. But I have to tell you, I was chatting with one of you down in the comments below about Brooklyn and Sheets. And I had my white set on here earlier in the week, but then I switched over to the green because I absolutely love this. It's like a satiny, I don't know, it's so good. But we were in the comments saying like, girl, I know, girl, you know that I know that you know that we know that these sheets are the best. So if you're looking for great sheets, check out Brooklinen, or you can wait till I do another um, sponsorship with them because they always give me a really great discount code. So I'm just going to get this room done. And then I thought it'd be really fun for us to go into the living room and redecorate and just change things up in there. I am so happy. I don't want to say this because it's going to sound insane, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I am a happier person with my dining room table. That's it.
That's all I needed to feel at home here. I just realized it. It's the dining room table. <laughs> but let's do a quick restock and then let's go redecorate the living room. Oh, and an update on the bookshelf. It's still not done. I don't know if you guys remember from my little antique shop with me video but I finally I've had this sitting here for like two weeks I finally picked up some dried lavender I found a really good price at um, Trader Joe's so I grabbed four little bushels of that and I'm gonna tie them up and put them in this little harvesting basket and then I my vision when I got it was to put it in the living room here so I'm gonna kind of reorient what I have on this table I've noticed lately I've been really drawn to purple which has never really been a color that I've really ever used. Like if you go back and look on my channel, I've never really had purple around. And I noticed that I did the purple tablescape for Lent and then the lavender, and I've just been pulling more purple um, things out lately. So I think I'm in a little purple mood recently. Um, it's so bizarre, but I think uh, the purple and the um, blue kind of really do, it's not bizarre, but I think it really does lend to that French country feel, which I've definitely been more into, but I really, really don't like the color pink. I just I have to say it. I mean, I, I when I had the um, florals that you're going to see I take down in here, when I had them up, I really didn't like looking at them. I mean, the decor looked beautiful and I do love all my Balsam Hill stuff that I put on the front door, but for like regular evergreen um, like decor in my home. I just don't like the color pink. I don't know why. Tell me if you're the same. I found this beautiful sign in the antique little shop with me as well. I wanted to read to you, but it says, Kindness, spread love everywhere you go. First of all, in your own home, give love to your children, to your wife or husband, to a next door neighbor. Let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. Be the living expression of God's kindness in your eyes, kindness in your smile, and kindness in your warm greeting. I just always thought that was a beautiful way to look at life and I like it to be a reminder for our kids. So here's how everything turned out. I decided to not add any decor to that table because that's where the new bookshelf's gonna go, but I love the pops of blue. Maybe I want too, too blue, but it just is so beautiful and simple. The house really feels like it's coming together. There's things on this um, stairs that the kids will never bring upstairs. I just sit and hope, but I put it there for them to take upstairs. And then here is how the living room looks. I love the little simplicity of the fireplace. I added those two Balsam Hill lanterns. I thought they'd look really pretty there. I'm gonna leave them for a couple days and decide if I like them or if it's making the room too dark. And tell me in the comments down below if you like that little table that used to be in our bathroom. I moved it over here, but I think this turned out really subtle and sweet. After this, I need to go get ready and head up to the winery um, to meet some friends. And then we are off to the film festival. Um, 
Um, so I just got a text that there are some VIPs at the winery, so I'm gonna head up to work. But I have a cute little set on. Um, this is from Vici. This is from Vici as well. And the house is clean. I hear painting happening in the garage. There, hopefully we get this bookshelf done soon. But um, yeah, I'll take you guys up to the winery with me and then Georgette and I are gonna go out to lunch. So let's go. Since I had to head up to the winery sooner than I had anticipated, it did take the bulk of my day and I was so happy my kids joined me. So I didn't film up there, I don't share my kids on my channel, but I am so happy to share it with you. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in today's video, which is going to be a Sunday restock with me and getting ready for another crazy week in the life. Thank you again for supporting my channel and I'll see you soon, bye. Breaking.